our biggest romantic hero ever in recent times Shahrukh Khan was also the guy who threw the girl off the terrace you know maine to socha tha yaar main 20 saal kaam karke itne sare paise kama lunga ki fir main retire ho jaunga aur bas aish kiya karunga ha lekin ab zyada itni mehnat karne ke baad aur mehnat karni padegi we spoken recently and we were chatting so you know but oh yeah. god that oh god I... don't paraphrase and get me in trouble <laughs> no no i'm saying your words you know? <laughs> <laughs> hi shahir welcome to pinkvilla thank you you know i want to start this interaction with a very simple question i don't know if you have noticed but this year marks 20 years of you being in this business you know how have you evolved as a person and as an artist in the last 20 years but well, that's probably a book man <laughs> but <laughs> uh, let's just say that i have uh, hopefully matured a little bit and uh, i learned to uh, i don't know be maybe more professional more committed um i think the that childlike uh, curiosity and love for what you do should always stay so i think it's important to keep the child in your life especially for every creative person sometimes the child is annoying but he's uh, essential yeah um and uh, yeah i think i've learned to appreciate what i have more um i have learned to appreciate what other people do more and uh, feels like there's so much more to do yeah for 20 years had you envisioned this amazing journey of yours yeah maine to socha tha yaar main 20 saal kaam karke itne sare paise kama lunga ki fir main retire ho jaunga bas aish kiya karunga ha lekin ab zyada itni mehnat karne ke baad aur mehnat karni padegi oh it's a circle it's never ending never ending but i really feel raj and dikya are probably the most creative geniuses they are really really Plus. good at what they do yeah. when fazi came to you were they the first initial draw or was it the script as well No I, actually weirdly how it happened was that they had come to me with this subject called farzi which at that time was a film hmm. and oh. you know we had interacted a couple of times and they kept you know sh- sharing the fact that they are finding it difficult to put it into one film because it's a lot of content like it's a big story and then we kind of it kind of didn't happen i guess they were not feeling like they being able to you know put it like that and all and i moved on to other things and then actually they reached out to me for a movie and i asked them if they have a show Oh. because i had watched uh, family man and enjoyed it so much that you know almost like the viewer in me was reaching out as an artist to the maker in them saying yaar mujhe dekhne mein bada maza aaya aisa kuch hai kya aapke paas you know hmm. and that's when very weirdly dk said that you know this is so strange uh, that you know the show that we are working on right now is actually the film that we had offered you and uh, would you be interested and i was like man that was always a great idea and it kind yeah. of never came through together so uh, you know of course and then when they kind of took me through how and it was in the process of developing at that time you know it was like getting there it was like pak raha tha yeah it was getting marinated so to say and um, i kind of realized that the world has been has had the kind of space to develop and mm-hmm. was so much more evolved than what i had heard and uh, the character that they were offering me was exactly what an actor if you're an actor at heart you know you are always looking for a meaty character yeah. and sunny was exactly that i could relate to the character i could understand i like i immediately understood sunny yeah, yeah. it might sound a bit weird cuz he's a counterfeiter but i did yeah but you know your character sunny is an artist however yeah. he also does things that are wrong in the show as an artist do you judge your characters morally <laughs> that's a fundamental question isn't it how how can you judge a character that you play it's it's i mean if somebody is sitting there judging a character then they are not really an actor mm. they should choose another job they should be the audience yeah. it's the audience's job to judge it like it dislike it uh my job is very simple i have to be the character mm. i have to be able to create a three dimensional persona which makes people feel like what they are watching is real you know as opposed to watching a two dimensional kind of you know very flat like my picture dekh raha hu maza aaya fun tha hase nahi hase there's nothing beyond that you know but but to me like it's about finding that third dimension finding the layers that lie below underneath what is on top you know that is how you actually create like a being you know and then people when they if they really like what you've done they talk about it like that they don't talk about it as a character they almost talk about it like a person Yeah like you know that's happened with me uh sometimes people sit and talk like that and you know it's the I have this big grin inside my heart I'm like yeah 
this person is talking to me like this thing this character is actually alive or something and i'm like i'm like amazing we, yeah, we got it, it you know yeah so this had that this had that i don't judge the characters i play um you know because i grew up watching raging bull with de niro i grew up watching scarface with uh, pacino i you know i've grown up watching uh, my father play some very obnoxious i mean uh, abaji was was not necessarily a likable character at all you know mm. um so so great actors are there to represent life mm. and to say things as they are you know and to give people a visceral real uh, kind of you know like evocative experience which which mm. makes them feel like they saw something which kind of hit them you yeah. know and will stay with them you know so that's the magic of cinema that's what you grow up wanting to do uh, you know our our our, uh, our biggest romantic hero ever in recent times isharo khan was also the guy who threw the girl off the terrace you know yeah uh, bazigar so i mean that's the magic of cinema right are you happy with so much of love is coming back to theaters now specifically with pathan i am so happy so proud um, nobody better than uh, sharukh sir to kind of have this love and bring people back in the way that he has and uh, every film should do well yeah. i don't care which language it is in i don't care whose face is on it we need to make good films and entertain people that's what this is all about and of course we want ours to be the best and we should always aspire for that but yeah. we have to learn to appreciate each other i mean it's it's, it's basic it's like you know it's basic yeah did you get a chance to see the film yes of course i've seen Oh, lovely! In the next twenty-five days, you also celebrate your birthday. <laughs> yeah. What are your plans? <laughs> What are my plans? I don't know. I I just be with family. I have a really busy month because I have this show coming up, which will be out literally like in ten days on the tenth of February, and then I have uh, you know another film that I'm shooting for, which I now need to complete. We're kind of like we need to really finish it now. Um, so in the middle of that, I'll probably get a day or so, and I'll probably spend it with family. I don't know. I'm not. decided yet i'm focusing more on what's happening right now the film that you presently shooting for is the is the magic film the it's magic with dharam ji also yes dharam ji is there yes. and work- dimple and dimple ma'am oh lovely how is it working with them on the set i mean of course creepy. legend he's a legend both of them it's just amazing yeah. sharing screen space with them i mean i have watched their movies when i've grown up so like it's 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 amazing and we have very interesting tracks like me and uh, dharam ji have an amazing track and so do i and dimple ma'am we have like a really cool relationship and those are like really strong relationships it's not just like two three scenes hmm. it's proper proper so it's a lot of fun lovely i have a last question to ask you a few years ago in an interview you had said oh that- god That oh God! Shall... Don't paraphrase and get me in trouble. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying your words. You, <laughs> said... <laughs> you had said Vishal Bharadwaj is by Martin Scorsese. Sure. It's been six years since you guys have worked together. I'm asking because I met him recently during mm. Kutte Production, and I said, "Sir, come in and do banana. How much? How much scope is in this world? Maybe. When is that happening? Are you? I do you guys discuss? Because I know you really look up to him as of well. Of course, of course." So you know the ball is always in his court he's a filmmaker he has his own kind of you know choices that he wants to make and you know he knows very well that I thoroughly love him mm-hmm. and uh, it's always been a pleasure working with him so I hope something happens i mean we've spoken recently and we were chatting so you know but let's hope so let's see so there's a chance of a collaboration in the future. why not i mean yeah. it would be a privilege to collaborate Lovely. I can't wait to see that and everything else you're doing in the future. Thank and Fuzzy, of course. Thank you so much, Shahid. Have a good day. Thank you, bro.